put the macaroni in a pot, salt and boiling water. We're going to cook that until al dente. Then you're going to add your butter to pot and melt that. Melt that. See how much I enunciated the cheese and being so proper. To your melted butter, add your teaspoon of garlic puree or garlic paste and also your teaspoon of mustard. And just give that a wee stir through to combine. Meanwhile, I have measured out my plain flour and when you add that to the butter, this is what makes your roux. Once you've stirred that through, get your flour, add that in and mix it in with the butter. Then we're going to cook that just over a medium heat to cook out the flour and grainy kind of texture and taste. So just cook it out. You'll smell the, the roux change probably after a wee minute or so. And that's when we're going to start adding the milk. So measure out your milk and your double cream. Once you've been just cooking that over the heat for a minute or so, it's going to be time to add your milk. So I've got a whisk and all I'm going to do is add some milk, whisk it in, add some milk, whisk it in, add some milk, whisk it in. And then at the end, we're going to add in the double cream. Look how quickly that's thickened up already. All right, so just keep going. And just as you've added the last of the milk in and it's still to infuse, at that point, I quite like adding about four cloves in. Now this is just for personal taste. It's not critical if you don't have them, don't feel like you need to go out and buy them just for this dish. And also a bay leaf as well. Again, just to infuse through the white sauce. And as it's thickening up with the last of your milk, there's a reason we call it luxurious macaroni. You've got your whole milk and then you've got your double cream. And trust me, you can taste the difference. Luxurious is the only word for it. So add that in and give it another stir just to thicken. Now we're going to leave that off to one side and grate our cheese. We weigh out your cheese. So that's 250 grams. You can use a wee bit more if you fancy, don't be afraid to, but bear in mind it's a very, very creamy sauce. Extra mature, this is why I've done it, so it can stand up to the decadence of the cream and the whole milk. Next, maybe the simplest step is of all. Grate your cheese. Once you've grated your cheese, just put it to one side. This has been infusing with the bay leaf and the cloves. So just before we add the cheese in, I want you to lift them out. There we go, I'm just going to put that in the bin. Then to your white sauce, add in your cheese and mix it in. And all I'm doing here is I've just put it back over the heat just to heat through so that the cheese melts. And once you've got a smooth sauce, we're going to mix it through the macaroni pasta. And all we're going to do is mix up your macaroni with your cheese sauce. Now I'm doing this a bit arse for elbow, but it's because all my big tubs are in the washing machine. So I'm going to do it in two lots. All right, so just pour in your cheese sauce and stir through. And the last thing I want to do is for you to taste it and check if it needs any extra salt added. So we salted the pasta water. You've not added any salt in it, the cheese sauce. The reason we don't add it at that point is you've not got the taste of the salty pasta. So mix it through, try it, and salt it and use pepper if you want. I'm just going to go without in this, this recipe. Go without the pepper, I mean, not the salt. I'll try it first. Try, 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 taste, taste, taste. So I actually didn't feel as if it needed any additional salt. What I'm going to do is bring over an oven proof dish. So I'm going to top the, ma the macaroni with some grated parmesan and then I'm just going to grill it so not oven bake it because I don't want to dry this one out 
I'm just going to top it with some flaky parmesan. How many times can I say I'll top it with some flaky parmesan? But great, that's on top. You can put as much or as little as you want, but or you can add even mozzarella, whatever you fancy on top if you want that kind of gooey stringy. I'm just a big sucker for some strong parmesan. Stick that under the grill until it's nice and golden and crispy. And that's it out of the oven. Just a wee bit crispy on top and still nice and gooey and rich underneath. 